Hello everyone, I'm Jason Berry, Counselor for Division 6, and I'm pleased to provide you the highlights from the May 3rd, 2022 Sturgeon County Council meeting. Deputy Mayor Como started off the meeting by proclaiming National Youth Week and Economic Development Week. National Youth Week, which takes place from May 1st to 7th, recognizes the valuable contributions youth make in Sturgeon County. It's also an opportunity to explore ways all of us, including the county, can support opportunities to further youth involvement. This includes having a representation on the Agricultural Ser Service Board and the potential of having a youth advisory committee for people between 16 and 24 years. We look forward to the proposed bylaw creating the youth advisory committee at a future council meeting. We also recognize the challenges that youth face and the impacts of the stresses can have on their mental health. Sturgeon County's FCSS department offers a number of programs and services geared towards youth and people of all ages. More information on the programs can be found at sturgeoncounty.ca slash FCSS. Economic Development Week is May 9th to 13th and recognizes the role of economic development in expanding career opportunities for residents as well as improving quality of life in Sturgeon County. We have a great economic development team here at Sturgeon County and on behalf of Council I want to thank the team for their hard work supporting existing businesses in the county as well as attracting new investments to our region. Building on the theme of supporting business, Council gave first reading of bylaw 1597-22 to amend the land use bylaw by adding the new definition for diversified agriculture. Having this definition added to the land use bylaw is one of the recommendations coming from the Agribusiness and Agritourism Review Task Force final report. A public hearing will be held at a later date to allow the public to comment on the proposed land use bylaw amendment. We appreciate people taking the time to provide feedback, whether by attending the public hearing or providing a written submission for consideration. More information on the Agribusiness and Agritourism Review can be found at sturgeoncounty.ca slash agri-review. Another important support for the agricultural community is the annual appointment of the agricultural inspectors. The county is required by the province to appoint agricultural inspectors and they're given the authority for surveillance activities under both the Agricultural Pest Act and the Weed Control Act. Their work is important as it helps protect our agricultural producers from invasive species, particularly weeds, that can damage crops. Inspectors will be visiting various areas of the county over the next few months. Now that spring has sprung, we can expect more, more farmers on the roads, as well as other traffic. And I am pleased to report that Kensal has approved the 2022 Dust Suppression Program. The program includes both fully subsidized and partially subsidized treatment in various areas of the county. Council also approved additional locations for fully subsidized treatment at a total cost of $42,185, which is being funded from the General Operating Reserve. The maps for all the dust suppression locations can be found in the Council recap below. Council also awarded the construction contract for the Meadowview Drive Collector Reconstruction Project at a cost of $4,895,749.40. This, along with bridge work, will complete the construction of Mediview Drive. There is over $46 million of road work planned for 2022. And I'd like to thank everyone who came out to the transportation open houses held over the past couple of weeks. The open houses were a great opportunity for county staff to share information on various road projects planned within each division and help answer your questions. More information on the construction projects throughout the county can be found at sturgeoncounty.ca slash capital projects. Council also received a presentation from the Alcumdale Local Development Cooperative requesting that Sturgeon County assume ownership of the co-op's water and wastewater assets. The matter was referred to administration and a recommendation will be presented at a future council meeting. Council also gave first reading of three bylaws that would result in the dissolution of the County Municipal Planning Commission. These changes would result in being able to process development permits quicker without impacting the quality of application review. Public hearings will be scheduled for the public to have their say on the proposed changes. Those are your highlights from May 3rd. You can find the full recap of the meeting in the link below. The next Sturgeon County Council meeting will be held at 9 a.m. on May 24th, 2022. 
Future agendas and past meetings can be found online. I hope you can join us May 24th. Until then, stay safe and be well.